Yo, Wagwan, it's that guy. It's not Locks, not Nation. Doing a little dread review here. I'm a little behind on it, but I don't care. I'm, I'm literally talking about Justin Bieber dreadlocks. Been late to the topic, I won't lie, but I wanted to get make sure my thoughts were well collected. Now, what do I notice? Bieber. I mean, okay, for one, the man's from Ontario as well, meaning he's got the same home place as myself. So I gotta represent respect for any artist that blows up and becomes top of the world from my hometown. Give it up to Bieber, give it up to Drake, give it up to The Weeknd. In fact, Drake is the only one of the three that hasn't had dreadlocks yet. So Bieber actually stepping it up over the bar of Drake right now. But a lot of people coming down here to think about Justin Bieber's locks. And for some reason, because he's so big and because he's white, a lot of people like to pin cultural appropriation on the dude for doing this. When in fact, it's not appropriation at all. The dude just wants to have locks. Locks is for anybody with hair. Locks are not owned to a specific culture or creed. Locks is owned by anybody that has hair and allows it to lock up. For Bieber here though, his hair isn't freeform. It's not naturally locking up. He's getting work done. In fact, I found the loctician that did his locks for him and I was surprised to see him shout her out saying, thanks for the retwist Brie unique. So we know Bieber got the retwist on these locks and I feel like he might have started them with a crochet hook once again but he is he is retwisting them down to the scalp hence why we see so much parting and scalpage showing throughout his hairline in the video Let It Go by DJ Khaled featuring Bieber and 21 Savage and in that video you actually see lots of shots of his hair uh, and different angles of what he's doing, but essentially they're baby dreads still, and I feel that there's a lot more room for them to progress if he keeps them in. Knowing Bieber, he decides to put locks in for a few months and he takes them out, what we saw last time a few years ago. So now that he's doing this for the second time, I'm hoping that he can really embrace his hair and embrace the journey fully this time. Um, but I do want to note a couple things that I've noticed throughout this video. Uh, for one, since his hair is being retwisted, the parting is extreme. Um, and it's kind of weird to see type 1 hair on a Caucasian being retwisted. It's more of a type 4 African American maintenance procedure to do a retwist. He's found someone that can make it work for him. You know, he's found someone that can make it work. Unfortunately, she would have been using like clips and product and, and, and just like toxic ingredients to kind of get his hair this way. Another thing I notice about Bieber's locks is actually that his hair is kind of receding with them. They've been pulled back so tight, it's created like a receding hairline on the sides here, you know, which is a downfall of getting the retwist done. And in this video, he's wearing like pigtails on the side of his head. Um, this also going to contribute to more scalpage being shown and more of that receding hairline look. Um, but he is embracing like that Florida tone with the locks. If you can, if you can take note of that with the, the, the hairstyles and the ponytails kind of going in whichever direction that he seems fit. It's a good look. Um, so personally, I don't think that Bieber's locks are offensive at all. And on the contrary, I actually believe that there is two more offensive things in this video that will trigger people more than his hair. One of them being that he's rocking a blue flag over his face. So, I mean, I definitely know that there's going to be some blood and crip controversy over that. Uh, secondly, Bieber ends up wearing a dress at the end of the video. And I feel like that's also pretty controversial as well for a lot of people um, that believe in uh, agendas being pushed by the government, by the media, um, trying to effeminate men a bit more. Uh, but 
Literally the bandana and the dress are more offensive than his locks. I love the locks. Can't say I love the dress or the bandana. It's funny how the world works. Yeah, I like, I like to see Bieber with his locks get a lot longer actually. And the fact that so many other artists out there right now have dreadlocks and are embracing this journey. I'm happy that Bieber has locks because he has such a big following. Him normalizing locks on himself will eventually uh, trickle down the line to the generations that he's inspiring as well. And when, they, when that generation has kids on top of that, they will be more susceptible and acceptable of locks in the future. So right now in 2021, locks are definitely most, uh, are definitely more acceptable now than they've ever been in human history. And I don't wanna say that we have guys like Bieber to thank for that because it definitely wasn't a Bieber wave, but by Bieber getting locks, he is definitely helping with the future of this trend to continue growing upwards towards the moon. Who knows, maybe one day we will have a society where everybody has locks. That'd be nice to see. Uh, it'd be nice to see. Um, but event essentially, if you have type one hair, uh, like Bieber, and you're trying to get locks, you have different methods you can go to. You can get the, the crochet hook um, done. Bieber's done the retwist. I wouldn't really recommend that, but he's showing that it's worked for him. The only thing is it's gonna create thinner dreads and it's gonna thin his hair out quite a bit. Uh, he definitely needs to let them Congo up and join up for ultimate strength, you know? But I'm watching the video here as I'm talking and I'll, I'll, I'll put some overlays in the content as I'm uploading this video. I'm vibing with it, you know? I'm vibing with it. I really hope that he continues with this dreadlock journey. And it's not just some sort of trend setting or some sort of fad that he's going through or maybe it was just for a video. I really hope Bieber holds these locks for years to come because that would be sick. Let me know in the comments below what you think about Bieber's locks and this whole appropriation thing. I personally don't stand with it. Uh, if the man wants to get dreads, he can get dreads. He's not appropriating any culture whatsoever. Um, and uh, for the white people out there, maybe Bieber can hold you as some inspiration to get some locks yourself. It doesn't need to be. You can get all the inspiration you need to find here on Not Nation on a day-to-day -day basis. And with that being said, I would appreciate if you guys smash that like button down below and hit that subscribe if you haven't already. About 80% of the people that come to this channel and watch my videos are not subscribed. So it'd be great to have you join the family. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. One love, so happy and natty. Oh God. Adios.